Namaste. Today we are bringing you another documentary on the Space Shuttle Columbia. Space Shuttle Columbia is one of the seven unique space shuttles built by NASA as a part of the shuttle program. The Space Shuttle is the man's only creation of a type which could launch vertically and land to the surface of Earth like an airplane. The shuttles tirelessly served for four decades, transporting humans to space and built the greatest space engineering, the International Space Station. The shuttle program began in the presidency of John F. Kennedy under the able support of the president. NASA engineers and the U.S. Air Force built the space shuttle. Various prototype shuttles were made and tested on the Earth. The first shuttle, to, which was to fly to outer space, was named Columbia. Columbia has a unique history. The launch of Columbia began the shuttle program, but its career ended in a fatal crash. It has not only started the shuttle program, but it was also the heaviest shuttle and spent the longest time at the OPF or the Orbital Processing Facility. The construction of the shuttle began in 1972 when NASA awarded the contract to make the shuttle to the North American Rockwell Company on July 26, 1972. Followed by this, on the 25th of March 1975, the first piece of Columbia was constructed. After three years of vigorous construction, on the 5th of March 1979, the post-checkout operations were completed at Parmaday and was transported to the Kennedy Space Center on the March 12th. On 24th March, the shuttle was transported to the operational facilities or the orbital processor facility for the last touches at the Kennedy Space Center. On 14 January 1980, the shuttle was ready for its maiden flight. Columbia was manufactured by Rockwell International and it was owned by National Aeronautic Space Administration. It completed a total of 28 flights and orbited the Earth for 7,218 hours and made a total of 4,808 rounds the Earth. It weighed 81,600 kilograms. It was one of the heaviest space shuttles ever built. Columbia was the heaviest shuttle and was the only operational shuttle to have a black chine and had the USA flag on the left hand side wing with the letters USA on the right hand side wing. It was also the only shuttle to have a recorder which recorded all flight parameters and other components which was known as the modular auxiliary system. Columbia started the shuttle program with its first launch on the 1st of April 1982. The crew consisted of John Young and Robert Crippen who went on a two-day mission. They returned to Earth after a successful mission on the 2nd of April. Followed by this, Shuttle Columbia returned to the orbital processing facility and spent the most amount of days at the orbital processing facility a total of 610 days which is about one year and eight months for the heat shield tile replacement columbia completed a total of 28 missions starting from sts1 followed by sts2 and more it successfully made 28 missions which would last from two days two, even two weeks. It has serviced the Hubble telescope and launched satellites and even docked to the International Space Station and attached modules to it. Columbia fatally crashed 
at the end of STS-107. STS-107 was its second last mission, but while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, it disintegrated. It was composed of a seven crew member, led by Colonel Rick D. Husband, William McCool, David M. Brown, Kalpana Chawla, Michael P. Anderson, Laura B. Clark, and Ilan Raymond of the Israeli Air Force. It launched from Kennedy Space Center, launched pad 39A on the January 16, 2003. After completing its mission on the 1st of Feb 2003, just before 9 a.m., Columbia started its fatal re-entry. Just after 9.05 a.m., Columbia started to disintegrate. and its crew prepared to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. At 8 or 10 a.m., Mission Control in Houston gave approval for the final deorbit burn. At 8 or 15 hours and 20 seconds, Columbia completed its deorbit burn. 30 minutes later, at 8 or 44 hours and 9 seconds, the shuttle starts to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Communica communication was briefly lost during the re-entry and the temperature was higher on the underneath of boat wings. At 8 or 59 hours and 32 seconds, Columbia lost signal with the mission control. At 9 or hours 5 seconds, one of the crew members made an input on the onboard computers of Columbia. A few seconds later, Columbia started disintegrating, which was seen by many. TV reporters started to capture those footages. Meanwhile, mission control in Houston was unaware of the news and tried to contact Columbia. 16 minutes later, at 9.16 hours, the flight entry director commanded the famous words, Lock the doors! This initiated the emergency contingency procedure and retrieval of data. Mission Control received the news about 16 minutes later only. By this disaster, the shuttle fleet was grounded and the Columbian Accident Investigation Board was formed, or the CAIB. In its cause of accident, it is stated that just after 82 seconds of launch, a piece of insulating foam from the orange external tank broke free and hit the shuttle's left wing's leading edge heat shield, which led to a severe crack. During re entry, the crack allowed superheated gases to enter the inner wing structure of the shuttle and started to erode it. This was also the reason that the left hand side's wing's temperature started to rise higher before the right hand side started. CAIB or the Columbian Accident Investigation Board gave various recommendations which was later implemented by NASA. Shuttle Columbia not only started the space shuttle program in 1982, but started the era which would see the building of the greatest space engineering, the International Space Station, and the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. Shuttle Columbia got disintegrated during re-entry, which marked one of the worst space disasters in the history of mankind. But the world lost seven of its space pioneers, who will be remembered forever for their determination to explore space and the unique spacecraft which could launch vertically and land like an airplane. This was one of those seven shuttles, but Columbia had a unique and a rich and a glorious history. Thank you very much for watching this documentary on the space shuttle Columbia.
watching this documentary. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Enjoy the last minute views of the ocean and goodbye. Goodbye.